He's already taken a beating for your Bethany, now this. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. No, it's all right. She's right. I'm sorry he doesn't deserve any of this. Well, it's David Platt. You should blame. Save your anger for him. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just upset. I shouldn't take it out on you. It's fine. I best be going. I'm supposed to be at work. Right, I'll, um... I'll keep in touch. I'll, I'll let you know what happens. Thanks. You're right. Yeah. I don't blame her for being angry. I am too. If he doesn't come round, or if he's brain damaged. Our oh, Gary's a fit lad. He'll pull through. We'll see. So there is no brain damage? No, I'm glad to say. You have some cracked ribs, I'm afraid. But if it's any consolation, it could have been a lot worse. Right, I'll leave you both to it. Thanks, Doctor. How are you feeling? <sighs> like I've done ten rounds with AJ. Yeah, I'd avoid mirrors for a while. I'm so sorry. And it's not your fault, is it? <sighs> Wish you had flipping flattened him now. Wish it was him that was lying here, not you. <laughs> yeah, then I'd be the one in court again. <laughs> I've, uh, I've decided I'm, I'm going to move out. I just don't feel safe there anymore. First Clayton thing, now this. No, I doubt he'd ever hurt any of you a lot. How can you say that? If he can do this because he was miffed about Nicola when we'd put it all behind us. Yeah, that's why I don't think it was to do with that. It don't make sense, does it? Well, what else would it be? I don't know, but I don't think it was to do with me at all. I think I just happened to be there when he cracked. How do you mean? He just had this... He had this look in his eye, like... Like, more panic than anger. Like he thought he was somewhere else. He's saying he think he's had some kind of breakdown. I don't know, but I seriously don't think he knew what he was doing. I think he needs help, sir. You're right to be angry, love. But now's not the time to jump ship, not with your granny in hospital. I wondered when you'd start with a guilt trip. Whether you like it or not, you are still a part of this family. Just going round in circles. And this family is always stronger together. Always has been, always will be. I know your heart's in the right place, Mum. But you're living in dreamland. So you just want me to give up to you? Like you are? It's called self-preservation. And with a son like David, I suggest you learn it. Perfect, thank you. All right, I'll see you then. Bye. Um, Mum, I'm going to need you to look after Harry for me in the morning. Oh, please, Sarah, think about it. Oh, just leave him. Think about what? She's moving out. More like escaping. Sarah? Have you got a problem with me? Yes, I have. I have got a problem with you. You scare me. You scare the hell out of me. Well, I'm sorry about what happened to Gary. No, you're not sorry. Because if you were, you'd have a conscience. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, do I not? You enjoy hurting people. You get off on it. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. You're wrong in the head. 